Assalamualaikum Learning with Abi and Umi presents Durusul Lughah Al-Arabiyah Volume 1 Chapter 4 Preposition In and On Or Fi and Ala We are going to learn three basic concepts Concept number one, normal ending of a noun in Arabic is dhamma, u. It is called marfu' or nominative case. For example, albaytu. Basic concept number two, there are several prepositions in Arabic. Two of them are fi and ala. Both are called Harf Jar. The last concept. If a noun is preceded by Harf Jar, the ending changes to Kasra, E. This case is called Genitive Case or Majroor. Summary. Al-Baytu. It is in nominative case. So it has the normal ending dhamm u fi is harf jar al bayti is in genitive case majrur because it's preceded by harf jar fi al maktabu is in nominative case marfu' Ala is harf jar. Al maktabi is in genitive case. Let's see another example. Al masjidu, the mosque. Fil masjidi, in the mosque. As sariru, the bed. Ala sariri, on the bed. Now. Let's see the example of harf jar in a sentence. Aina Muhammadun? Where is Muhammad? Huwa fil ghurfati. He is in the room. Wa aina Yasirun? Where is Yasir? Huwa fil hammami. He is in the washroom. Wa aina Aminatu? Where is Amina? Hiya fil matbakhi. She is in the kitchen. Aina al-kitabu. Where is the book? Huwa ala al-maktabi. It is on the desk. Wa aina al-sa'atu. Where is the watch? Hiya ala al-sariri. It is on the bed. Let's do some exercises. Aaminatu fil ghurfati. La Muhammadun fil ghurfati. Ayasirun fil matbakhi. La Aminatu fil matbakhi. Man fil ghurfati. Muhammadun fil ghurfati. Waman fil hammami. Yasirun fil hammami. Mada ala al maktabi? Al kitabu ala al maktabi. Mada ala al sariri? Al saatu ala al sariri. That's all for today. Browse the blog for more explanation and examples. Click the link at the video description to learn more. Thank you for watching. Wassalamu alaikum.